an explanation. Mankato West is in our spotlight game Friday night against number two rated Chanhassen. The last time we talked about West, Craig slighted the Scarlets, saying Andover and not West should have been in the prep bowl last year. That remark created bulletin board material and got the Mankato West players and coaches fired up, and they went out and beat Andover that night and didn't want to talk to Craig. Rightly so. So Craig has decided to bow out of any Mankato West conversation today so as not to create bulletin board fodder. Craig, are you sure you don't want to say something? <laughs> Is that yep you do or yep you don't? But What's the, okay, good for you, smart man. This game has been circled on the calendar. This is a co-anchor's dream, by the way, to have him looking like this. Circled on the calendar since the 5A football schedule was released in the spring. Both teams are 4-0 heading in. It's going to be one to remember. Mankato West at Chanhassen. <laughs> it's our spotlight game. to the edge and he's going to be all oh, stripped of the ball it's loose it's picked up Mankato West is a proven football power in Minnesota a five-time state champion the latest title captured in 2021 they placed runner-up to Elk River last fall in class 5a losing a hard-fought game in the prep bowl and it's just a foot race now hey Mankato West doesn't rebuild, they reload. Dominate, dominate, dominate. The biggest thing that I think is just the commitment to the culture and the buy-in. These kids pride themselves in one of being the next team um, that kind of um, goes out and wins that state championship. Chanhassen has been looking forward to this storm team this season for a few years. The senior group led by Sam Macy and star running back Maxwell Woods is special. Maxwell Woods is the most dynamic and elusive football player I've ever had the privilege to be around. Chan head coach Cullen Nelson says this team is special. Maybe special enough to make some noise in November. The guys have, have done nothing but meet expectations or exceed them at uh, every turn since they, they walked into the high school and in the middle of a pandemic and, and uh, worked their tails off since then. So it'll, it'll shake out how it shakes out, but uh, I know that at the end of it, we'll, we'll know we've done everything we could to give ourselves a chance to play football inside. And I think every kid in Minnesota, that's, that's their dream from the time they, they go to their first high school football game. So hopefully we can make it happen, but we a bunch of good teams, but we're excited about the season. So the spotlight game Friday night is a fabulous 5A matchup. Number one ranked Mankato West at number two rated Chanhassen. We'll have full highlights on CARE and the Prep Sports Extra at 10:15, Then, of course, at 11 o'clock on the Prep Show, which is on cable and YouTube and CARE11.com and CARE11 Plus as well. It's going to be a great matchup. We've taken the tape off, so you can now say a few things if you'd like, Mr. Norcus. Yeah, well, you know, that tape actually <laughs> tore half my cornea off, so if I miss a few plays on the spotlight game this weekend, we'll know why. Well, you're supposed but to close your eyes now, when you put the well, tape over your eyes. Now but... that I have it off, I actually do have something to say about okay. these teams. I've okay. seen both of them in person. I know you I have. have great things to say about both. Mankato West, they present a huge problem offensively for teams on defense because they have a lot of different personnel packages, a lot of different alignments they can put in where they can run or pass out of, and they right. specifically have a jumbo package where they bring in a lot of beef on the line, a lot of beef behind the line, and they line, line up quarterback Bart Mackinich behind yep. it, and they say, stop us if you can. Right. And most times you can't, and a lot of times defenses will sell out against that jumbo alignment, and it creates a seam or a crease. Mackinich twice busted long yeah, TV runs in the Andover game I covered. Yep. You go to Chan, Maxwell Woods is the best running back in the state. Yep. He has to be. Yep. But they also have a quick strike ability. They have a passing game that can get down the field rapidly. They have a swarming defense. So there are things to like about both teams. I am really looking forward yep. to covering this game. The last time we saw Chan was against Elk River on opening night. Mm -hmm. Tyler Smith, their star defensive back, did not play in that right. game. But he is back now and playing. And so he'll make a difference. Yeah, in he makes game. a huge difference. Yep. He'll be all over the field. So all right. this is going to be a classic. It's going to be a great 